Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about Z score, P value. So these concepts can help us understand hypothesis testing better. So what is a Z score? A Z score indicates how many standard deviation an element is from the mean. So Z score is a concept of normal distribution. And so we will take an example of normal distribution that we have given earlier. So I will plot it here. Now, again, the same example of height and the mean of our height is if you remember, we have taken uh, the example of height of students in a classroom where the mean of the height was 1.4 meters and the standard deviation is 0.15 meters so 1.4 meters then 0.15 meters to right is 1.55 similarly to left 1.25 which is in one standard deviation away from the mean so if you remember we discussed that 68 percent of the students are falling between one standard deviation away from the mean 1.25 meters to 1.6 1.55 meters 68 percent students then this is two standard deviation which is 1.1 1 .1 to 1.7 and then third standard deviation which is 0 0.95 and to the right it's 1.85 and the whole of this under this three standard deviation we had 99.7 percent students and 0.3 percent are those more than three standard deviation so in terms of z scores the graphs with this graph will look like this is zero then this is here in first standard one standard deviation to the right is plus one that is plus one of z score and then minus one then minus two then minus three and similarly plus two and plus three so this is the concept of z score now if a z score is less than zero if a z score is less than zero it represents then the element is less than mean right then if a z score is greater than zero it represents the element is greater than mean and if i tell you that what if a z for an element is his its z score is zero then you can simply say that element is equals to mean right so this is very simple concept of z score now we will move on to the next concept which is p value P value is also known as probability value and it is the probability of obtaining a sample more extreme than the ones observed uh, in simple words if I say in this normal distribution here what is the probability or what is the P value let's say the mean is here 1.4 meters and this is 1.55 meters what is the p-value of an element falling at this place what but what, what will you do we will simply say that okay let's say 68 uh, percent of the values we know that falls under one standard deviation right 68 percent of the values fall under one, one standard deviation and uh, the graph is symmetric from the mean that means 34 percent values are here right so till this point we have 34 percent of the of the total samples or of the uh, of the total points now p value is simply for this the p value will be 0 0.034 0.34 okay probability of an element 
uh, in this area or between uh, mean to plus 1 standard deviation or mean to 1 z score is 0.34 so this is very uh, like rudimentary example of understanding p value now we will understand it better in terms of hypothesis testing how this z score and p value are used